Good morning, boys and girls. Do you know what tomorrow is? It's Sunday, but there's something special about this Sunday. Do you know what it is? That's right. It's Mother's Day. It's a day that we celebrate the mothers in our lives. I've got many mothers who've been part of my life. I've had my grandmother Kay. She lived with us for many years when I was a kid growing up during the winters. And as I got older, my grandma Quail came to live with us as well. I also have a mother who is still alive, but lives on a whole different country. When I was a student missionary, I had a mother that was over there and she took care of me too. My kids have a mother and I'm very glad that their mother is part of my life. And you might have aunts or other special ladies that are in your life that act as your mother at different times. Tomorrow is a special day when we can remember all those mothers and I hope you do. I wanna tell you a little story though about my mother. Of course, I think she's extra special. And she's extra special for many things. For one, she gave birth to me. She loves me. But maybe the most important thing is that she loves Jesus. And when she loves Jesus, it shines through my mother and you can see it as she's talking and working with me and as she's, as she's working with students when she was a teacher. It's that love for Jesus that makes her extra special. When I was about eight years old, my dad got us all in a car with my mother and my two brothers, and we went on a long drive to a creek or a river called Sucker Creek. It's in Eastern Oregon, it's just over the border from Idaho, and at that time we lived in Boise, so it wasn't too far from where we were living at that time. And we would drove out there to be out by ourselves and we get down, we drive down this road and grandpa starts looking for rocks. You gotta understand, my dad or grandpa um, loves rocks. His dad loved rocks and always had all sorts of pretty agates or geodes or other kind of special rocks. And my dad followed in his dad's footsteps. So when we were out driving, we were looking for special geodes. Well, we got out of the car and we were walking around. We couldn't find very many, but Grandpa looked up on the hill and said, if the rocks down here look like they're coming from up there, let's go up there to go look. Now that wasn't an easy task. You see, I was only eight years old. I wasn't very big, but I thought I was big. And I had a five-year-old brother who he knew he was big. And I had a two-year-old brother who was just trying to keep up. We slowly tried to go up this hill, and at first it was not too bad. There were some rocks, and some of them were bigger, and we'd walk around those. And, and there was some grass, and we'd slowly make our way up this hill. And it kept on getting steeper and steeper. And then pretty soon, we were just walking on rocks. And these weren't your little tiny rocks. These were rocks that were, you know, the size of my head or some of them bigger and some of them were really big and that was hard to walk on and pretty soon my mom and my youngest brother decided they weren't going to keep going up this hill. So they kind of stopped in one spot and kind of walked over to the side and we were looking at lizards or small little rocks that were there and my dad and me and my brother and some other kids that were with us kept climbing up the hill. Well, we'd, we'd walk over these big rocks and then sometimes a rock would get loose and it would go down the hill. We kept going up and we got up there and looked around and grandpa kept on looking for rocks that were he thought would be special pretty rocks and he couldn't find any. But then we started playing and we started kicking at the loose rocks and watching them as they would tumble down the hill. It was a lot of fun, but there's a hint in danger when rocks are going down the hill, isn't there? Those rocks get going and sometimes they would bounce up into the air and make big leaps as they're going down the hill. It was fun and grandpa joined in and grandpa or one of the other bigger boys that was with us found a big rock and they kind of pushed it hard and got it going. And boy, did it get going. It started making those big giant leaps 
And then on one of those leaps, it hit just right. And all of a sudden it started going over a different direction than the other ones. And as we watched it, we realized right in his path is my mom and my youngest brother. Well, my mom didn't see this. So we start yelling, mom, mom. And she eventually looks up and she sees that big rock just screaming down the mountain towards her and my youngest brother. Well, my mother did this amazing thing that you could only see right now if you watch America Ninja Warrior. You know, where they start at the beginning and they jump from rock to rock fast and they go really fast on these things that are hard to balance on. Well, my mother, who could not keep her balance, who was struggling at the beginning to, to walk across these rocks, all of a sudden jumps up, picks up my youngest brother, and leaps across the uh, rock field and gets out of the way, lickety split. And then the rock goes right down the hill, right where my brother and mom were. I'm sure when we get to heaven, there's going to be some angels who will kind of chuckle and said, yeah, that American Ninja Warrior move, that where you were running across. And my mom goes, oh, I know. She'll say that. I'm sure my mom will say that. She goes, oh, I know that there was angels carrying me across that hill. It's really cool when moms can do something extra special like that and save us from a, a terrible thing. But it's even more cool that they love you and when they can teach you about Jesus. I love my mom and I think it's amazing what she did. But I love that she loves Jesus and I'm glad that she taught me to love Jesus. Today or even tomorrow, I want you to wish those mothers in your lives happy Mother's Day. If you can, give them a hug and enjoy the time that you have with them. Happy Mother's Day and happy Sabbath.